after day I'm more confused Yet I look for the light through the pouring rain No, it's a game that I hate to lose And I'm feeling the strain Ain't it a shame? Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Getting the thing that I'm wasting time I don't understand the things I do The world outside looks so unkind And I'm counting on you To carry me through Give me the beat boys and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away When my mind is free, you know a melody can move me. When I'm feeling blue, the guitar's coming through to soothe me. Thanks for the joy that you're giving me. I want you to know I believe in the song. And rhyme and harmony. You help me along, making me strong. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Rock and roll and drift away Give me the beat boys, free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Here are the chords that are needed. You'll need a B on the 2nd, D sharp minor 7th on the 6th, an E on the 7th, an F sharp 7 suspended 4th on the 2nd, a B on the 7th, open E, an E on the 4th, an F sharp bar chord on the 2nd, an F sharp on the 9th, a C sharp minor on the 4th, and a C sharp minor on the 9th. Let's take a look at these chords on the guitar. The opening riff starts off B bar chord up to the D sharp minor 7th bar chord to an E back down and then you get this F7 suspended 4th chord and then back to a B and the B will appear in two places I think I play it like this at one point up on the 7th bottom 4 shape there's three different E's too open E play this shape E on the 4th R chord E, and there's two F sharps here on the second and here in the ninth, and then there's a C sharp minor here on the fourth, and one on the ninth as well. Here's the intro riff played slowly. Here's the tablature for the intro riff. The lines are the strings of the guitar and the numbers on them are the frets that are played. If you want to play this song without a lot of the variations and just play a straight rhythm, it'll sound something like this. Day after day I'm more confused Yet I look for the light through the 
the pouring rain You know it's a game that I hate to lose And I'm feeling the strain Ain't it a shame Give me the beat boys and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away The chorus is basically three chords, a B, an F sharp, and an E. But there are notes that happen before each chord. In the first half of the chorus, it starts off before you get to the B with these two notes. So what I've done there is I'm playing the fourth fret of the fourth string down to the second fret, hammering on the fourth fret again before landing on the B. So it sounds like... Now to go to the F sharp, I do the same pattern on the 5th string here on the 6th fret and down to the 4th fret, so it's before landing on that F sharp. And then I do the same pattern on the 4th fret of the 5th string, so it's before I land on the E. In the second half of the chorus, there's the riff that plays during the chorus that leads you back into the B. I'll talk about that in a different section, but then to get back to the F sharp, you play. So there, what I've done is on the second string, I'm playing on the fourth fret, down to the second fret, and I'm bending up a full step and muting it before landing on the F sharp. So it's. And the same pattern happens here on the 6th fret of the 3rd string to get to the E. So it's... There's two similar riffs that play during the chorus. The first riff plays halfway through. It sounds like this. Here's the tablature for the first riff midway through the chorus. The second chorus riff is at the end of the chorus. It sounds like this. Here's the tablature for the second riff at the end of the chorus. There's a special picking pattern on the slow section. It sounds like this. When my mind is free You know melody can move me that section starts off with a C sharp minor chord, and what I did is I plucked a f the first and fifth strings at the same time, and then I'm playing the second string, and then one and two, and then I go up to the E chord, and I make the E chord in this shape here, because I want to get this first string note on the seventh fret. So I make this little mini E chord shape, and what I do is I pluck six and one at the same time, and then I'm playing third string, and then it's one and three. So that chord sounds like... And then I do the same pattern on a B chord. If you want to play that part without the special picking pattern, you can play it like this. When my mind is free, you know melody can move me. And when I'm feeling blue, the guitar's coming through to soothe me. Thanks for the joy that you're giving me. The second go around, instead of doing the B, you can play the chord of F sharp. Or you could do a little riff that sounds like this. When I'm feeling blue, guitar's coming through to soothe me. Thanks for all the joy that you give. What that little riff is, is in substitution of the F sharp chord, you can slide up to the 18th fret on strings 1 and 3, down to 16, 
and then down to 14 and 15 on strings 1 and 3. And then play a little bass slide down to bring it into the E for the next line. There's a chorus at the end of the song that plays just a bass line. It starts off on the B here on the 7th fret, down to the F sharp, the 2nd fret of the 6th string, and then open 6th string, the E. And then for the next line it goes 7th fret, 6th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, open, 4th fret of the 5th string, down to the B, and then you get going to the regular chorus for one round before going to the ending. So that second bass line sounds like this. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. I've identified seven different guitar fills or variations you can throw in after different lines in the first two verses of the song. I'll show those next. The first little fill you can throw in is right after the intro riff and before the first line. It sounds like this. Day after day I'm more confused. The slide is performed on the seventh fret up to the ninth fret and back down. Then you make this little shape here on the 7th and 6th frets of the 2nd and 3rd strings and do the same pattern, up 2 frets and back down. Or you can play it here on uh, the 2nd fret as a straight bar of strings 1 and 2. Second fill sounds like this. Day after day I'm more confused Yet I look for the light through the pole what you do there is you make a little B shape here on the 7th fret with your 3rd finger, add it to the 9th fret of the 2nd string, and then pull off. And I'm striking strings 1 and 2. And then I'm down to 2 and 3. I bring this shape down to the 5th fret, hit strings 2 and 3 again, before going to my E chord. So it's... Third fill sounds like this. Yet I look for the light through the pouring rain. You know that's a game that I hate to lose. What I did there was I made a little B shape on the seventh fret, then added the suspended fourth, this note on the ninth fret of the third string, pulling it off twice, and then striking twice on the chord before going to this slide up to an E chord. So you start on the 3rd fret and then bring it up to the E on the 4th before playing the next line. What I'll call the 4th fill is really a series of substitutions that I'll make a tablature for. It sounds like this. You know that's a game that I hate to lose And I'm feeling the strain Ain't it a shame Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. Here's the tablature for fill number four. Fill number five is after the first line of the second verse. It sounds like this. Beginning to think that I'm wasting time. What I did there was I made this little shape on the fifth fret of the second string and the fourth fret of the third string. Now I'm sliding it down to the 4th fret and then up to the 7th fret. So it's... And then I played a simple slide on the 7th fret here, strings 1 and 2, up to 9 and back down to 7. The 6th fill sounds like this. I don't understand the things I do That fill starts off by sliding up to the 11th fret on the 1st and 3rd strings, down in the 9th fret on those same strings, down to 7 and 8, up to 9, sliding up to 11 again before landing on the E chord for the next line. The 7th fill sounds like this. The world outside looks so unkind. 
count it on you Carry me through Give me the beat boys and free my Here's the tablature for fill number seven. The ending of the song is the same chords as in the chorus of the song. A B, F sharp, and an E. And the E is held for double the time of the other two chords. But there are certain substitutions you can do on each of these chords rather than just play a straight rhythm. So to substitute on the B, what you can play is this. So what I've done there is I've played the B chord, and then I'm walking up like that on the 4th fret, 4th, 5th, and 6th on the 5th string, and then I'm striking strings 2 and 3 on fret 4, so it's, and that little bit is, so instead of fret 4, I'm going up to fret 6 on strings 2 and 3, so it's, the substitution on the E chord can be something like this. So these little shapes are mini chord shapes on the first and third strings. So what I'm doing first is I'm sliding up to the 16th fret. So it's first and third string, 16th fret. And what I'm doing is I'm sliding, hitting the third string, and then hitting that first string. And then the same thing, two frets down, 14th fret. And then when you get to here, you're playing 12th and 13th fret, so it's... So you go 16, 14, down in 12 and 13, back up to 14, and then I'm hitting both 1st and 3rd strings on uh, 12th and 13th fret, so it's... That little walk down is a continuation. So it's 16, 14, 12, and 13, 11, 9, and then 7 and 8. So the whole thing is. And then back to the B. The substitution on the F sharp is similar to the substitution on the E. It sounds like this. So what that is, is I'm starting off, here's F sharp. So you're playing really strings one and three of that F sharp chord. So it's second fret and third fret on first strings and third strings. Up to the fourth fret, up to the sixth fret, back down. So it's. back down to the F-sharp shape again. Instead of walking down the full way like this, before going to the B, you can walk down halfway and throw in this little riff. So that little riff is, I'm sliding up to the sixth fret here on the third string, and then hammer on and pull off, from 4 to 7 on the 2nd string, and now I'm pulling off from 6 to 4 on the 3rd string, and 6 to 4 on the 4th string before landing on the B. So it sounds like...